Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, the latest iOS. So let's get started. So we're going to go right into your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to see the first option where it's going to say your name or your device's name. From there, make that backup using iCloud. If you guys have no more iCloud space, don't worry about it. Just go right into your computer. So hook up your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch to your computer and make a backup there. It's very important to make backups just in case something goes wrong. You can always go on and load everything back in. Does that mean for sure you need a backup? No, you can just go on and take a risk. So we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna go into general. On the general, we're gonna see the second option where it says software update. And right in here, we're gonna see the latest one. So it might take sometimes longer or shorter for others to load in. However, this update is almost a gig. It's just underneath a gig, but it's almost just there. And it is iOS 15.2. Now, not everybody will see download install. Some of you may just see install and that just depends on your settings. So depending on your settings, you could have it to download the update, but not install it. So that's why you might see that. Anyways, right now we're just gonna tap on download install down here below. Once we do that, it might ask you for a passcode if you have one for your phone and it's just gonna start updating. So at first it's gonna download the update. If your iPhone iPad up touch turns off at any point in time during the downloading process, it's no big deal you can, can just restart it. However, if it does turn off because you run out of battery in the middle of the installation process, then it is a big deal because you might have to restart your iPhone, iPad up touch, and that means you're wiping everything clean. And luckily, most of you will make that backup that I told you, and you're gonna get everything back. That's if it turns off for any reason. Now that's also why I recommend having your iPhone, iPad up touch hooked up some electricity, just in case. So even if you're at 80% of your battery, 90% of your battery, if your phone is not really new and new, then the battery might not hold for the entire process. So I would strongly suggest to have it hooked up some electricity, charging up while you're making any updates. And again, if you're having any problems, just hook up your iPhone iPod Touch to your computer and run the update through there. On Mac, for example, you would use Finder. On PC, you can use iTunes. Once it has finally downloaded, we can just tap on install now. Once we do that, it's gonna verify the update. We're gonna see our iPhone, iPad up touch, just turn off an Apple logo and a loading bar will be coming up. So as mentioned, you would see an Apple logo and a loading bar. And after that, again, we should see this, that we're all up to date. We can just scroll up. And once we log in, we can check out any settings if everything went okay, which everything did go okay. So let's go to settings, general. And then here, we're gonna see that we're all up to date. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.